Hi friends, my name is Zenith Kasrati Jalil. In this video, we will talk about the different kinds of topics you will get in Chiri and we will even talk about how to initiate and conclude in Chiri. So why wait? Let's get started. So before I could assist you all with how to initiate in Chiri, let's discuss the different types of topics you would definitely come across in Chiri. There are three kinds of topics. The first type is called as factual topics. The second type is called as controversial topics. And the third type is called as abstract topics. So what are factual topics? The topics which need facts, statistics, data and which requires immense knowledge. For example, if there is a topic called is India ready for a cashless economy? Now, unless you know what is cashless economy all about, unless you have the necessary facts and data with regard to the topic, you would not be able to contribute immensely towards the topic. That's why these are called as factual topics. What are controversial topics? Controversial topics are such topics which usually create controversy among the participants in GD and which brings your real self out irrespective of you wearing masks. For example, are women better managers than men? The moment you listen to these kind of topics, automatically your blood will start boiling, right? You cannot be wearing your mask anymore. All the goody goody masks what we wear and sit during GD, that will automatically get removed. That's why these topics are actually called as controversial topics where many a times a discussion would get converted into a debate. What are abstract topics? Abstract topics are such topics which assesses your creative and critical thinking. When there is absolutely nothing solid to speak in the topic, are you a person who can think out of the box and speak on the topic which is what is tested over here. For example, twinkle twinkle little star, white shirt, when pigs fly, look at all these topics. You need to think out of the box to speak on the topic where anything and everything connected to the topic directly or indirectly becomes your contribution towards the discussion. So these are the three kinds of topics usually would come across in GD. However, the chances of you coming across a factual topic or maybe a controversial topic would be on a higher end. Abstract topic also could be expected, but the percentage of you coming across abstract topic would not be more than 10% out of 100% for sure. Now let's talk about how to initiate in GD. Honestly speaking, initiating in GD is like a two-edged sword. If you start very well, you create the best impression. Suppose you initiate very poorly, very badly, you will certainly end up creating the worst impression ever. Hence, you have to make sure that you are extremely confident, you have heard and understood the topic very well, and you have a great command over language. Because these are the three characteristics which are expected from the initiator of any GD for that matter. To initiate in GD, you need to include a formal greeting, introduce yourself by telling your name, introduce the topic formally to the rest of the participants and directly come up with the main point connected to the topic. If you put together what we spoke till now, it actually sounds like this. Good morning friends. My name is Zenith Kasrati Jalil. The topic of discussion is, is demonetization a boon or a bane for India? What is demonetization? Demonetization is the act of stripping a currency unit of its status as legal tender. This sounds perfect, right? So, make sure of one thing, apart from what we have discussed so far, the factors to include to initiate in GD, 
kindly make sure all these are perfectly blended with a great confidence. Otherwise, everything might sound really, really inferior to the panel members. There are actually different ways to initiate in GD based on the topic what you come across. If you get a factual topic, you can initiate the GD in three different ways. Which are they? The first one, by defining the terminology in the topic. Like the way I gave you an example of demonetization. Okay, exactly the same manner. The second one, by mentioning a fact or a survey, data, statistics, which is connected to the topic. You can even initiate with the help of a famous quote or a proverb too. So, use any of these ways to get started with the GD to create the first the best impression if you have a factual topic. What if you have a controversial topic? You can make use of sentences like, according to me, in my opinion, based on the experience what have been through so far, etc. Suppose you come across an abstract topic. You can start with whatever is connected to the topic directly or indirectly. As we have discussed how to perfectly initiate in a GD, let's even talk about how to conclude a GD too. Before we could talk about it, you need to keep few things in mind. The first one, make sure you have been an active listener. It's very, very important that you have heard anything and everything spoken by every participant throughout the discussion. Because only by being an active listener, you'll be able to understand what has been the flow of the discussion, which will eventually help you to conclude the GD perfectly. The second one, make sure you keep the track of time. Because this will help you to Grab the opportunity to pull into the discussion abruptly and to remind all the participants saying the time is getting over and you can take the opportunity to conclude the GD too. Third one, please do not convert your personal opinion into the conclusion of the GD. Whatever you feel, whatever you have spoken so far, about the topic would not matter if you have decided to be the concluder. What matters is you understanding what has been the flow of the discussion so far and giving one proper conclusion at the end of the GD based on the same. Hence, never keep your opinion about the topic as the conclusion to the GD. Point number four. If any other participant has given a conclusion to the GD, do not commit the mistake of giving your own conclusion to the GD one more time. The participant must have done a great job in terms of concluding or maybe the worst job. That is none of your business. If there is one GD, if there is one topic to the GD, if there is one initiation to the GD, there has to be only one conclusion to the GD too. Respect this point of view and make sure you do not come up with the second conclusion for the same GD. So if you have understood all these points, you will be eligible to conclude the GD. There are two ways to conclude the GD. The first one is called as summarization and the second one is called as the real conclusion. Honestly speaking, 90% of time when you have a factual topic or a controversial topic, maybe for that matter an abstract topic too, you might not be able to come to an appropriate conclusion within the time which has been allotted to GD. That's when the summarization will come to your great help. So what is summarization? Make sure you have taken down all the main points discussed by different participants throughout the GD because that will really help you to summarize at the end of the GD. Point number two, understand what has been the flow of the GD as we have already discussed. 
once you do so you can actually pull in by helping other people realize that it's already time to conclude the gd and you can give max to max five points which have been discussed throughout the gd in the form of summarization and you can say thank you if you accumulate all the information what we discussed so far your conclusion would sound like this i'm extremely sorry to interrupt but as we are left with hardly one more minute time i would like to take this opportunity to conclude the gd as we have not been able to come to an appropriate conclusion i would like to summarize it by mentioning the major points what we have discussed throughout the gd point number 1 point number 2 point number 3 point number 4 and point number 5 thank you so much for your valuable input and that's how you conclude the gd the second one the real conclusion it requires a lot of skills a great command over language and it requires an amazing active listening skills for sure if you haven't understood what has been the flow of the discussion you haven't heard the participants appropriately don't even dare to become the concluder if you have clearly understood the direction of the entire discussion then please pull in to conclude by giving a wonderful statement for example let's say the topic of discussion has been are women better managers than men so let's even imagine that you have had a balanced discussion throughout the gd maybe some people supported men being the best manager some people supported women being the best manager and at the end you have actually understood the gist of the entire discussion it's not actually about the gender it's about the person who is filled with the right abilities to become the manager so if you have understood so imagining the factor the discussion has gone via the same direction then you can pull in and you can say uh, i would like to remind all of us that we are left with hardly one more minute time so i would like to take the opportunity to conclude the gd based on what we have discussed so far could we come to a conclusion saying uh, it's not the gender which makes a better manager it's actually a person who is filled with the right set of skills and abilities would become a better manager would everybody agree and then the gd gets over so these are the different ways of initiating and concluding in gd i'll be back very soon with some more informative videos on your career until then please take a great care of yourself and have a fantastic time ahead thank you so much for watching the video